Hi guys, this is Raghavya from Headphone Zone. If you're someone who's just starting off in your hobby of audio failure and you're looking at buying your very first headphones to seriously, and I mean seriously, start listening to music, you'll find that you're first presented with a very obvious choice of whether going for a full-sized headphone or an in-ear monitor. And there's really no right answer for this. Both of them have their own pros and cons. And you'll find that it's one of the things that everyone's got to be asking themselves as they start with the hobby. I thought I'd share with you my thoughts on how do you make your pick and the pros and cons of both. So hopefully, depending on what you're looking for and what's important to you, you'll be able to make that decision. Now, the first thing you should know is that in-ear monitors, for the price point that they're available today, at, just offer you incredible value for money. And the sound quality that you're able to get on an in-ear monitor, especially for a budget of 10,000 rupees and below, is simply unparalleled. I don't think any full-sized headphone can match the sound quality of an in-ear monitor for less than 10,000 rupees. So, if you're on a budget, I will almost always insist that you go with an in-ear monitor, simply put, because the value for money you're going to get as you're starting off in the hobby is just incredible. At higher price points, maybe 15,000 rupees, 20,000 rupees and above, you'll find that full-sized headphones start sounding really, really, really good. And at that segment, you'll find that there are a lot of full-sized headphones that sound absolutely amazing. But that's another subject and we'll talk about those in a different video. Full-sized headphones can give you a much wider immersive sounding experience. That's definitely an advantage over an in-ear monitor. You'll find that it has an airiness, a certain width, and allows you to visualize music with a lot more sound stage than an in-ear monitor can. But the problem is that a lot of us tend to use closed back full-sized headphones. And closed back headphones can sound very narrow, very boxy, and just take away that airiness and immersiveness that we want on a full-sized headphone. So I almost always recommend that you try and go for an open back headphone. The problems of the open back headphones are very, very simple. While it does give you that sound stage, that sense of lifelike airiness, you have to listen to these in a quiet environment at home where you're not disturbing anyone. And the reason is very simple. An open back headphone leaks sound and at the same time doesn't block your ears out so you can hear the noise that's around you. The advantages, of course, outweigh the disadvantages when it comes to sound quality. So if you're someone who likes to listen to music at home, a full-sized open back headphone is the way to go. If you're someone who's listening to music on the move, in the train, while traveling, in the plane, in the back seat of a car, on the bus, at work, then you sh must always go with a closed back headphone or even better, an in-ear monitor. I tend to find that an in-ear monitor sounds perfect for when you're on the move. It's compact enough, portable enough that you can put into your pocket and it sounds great wherever you listen to them. It doesn't need you to be in a quiet room specifically. The privacy, the isolation that you get on an IEM is just fabulous. Now, some of you may also wonder, do you need an expensive DAC and amp to go along with a headphone or an IEM? Now, this is of course a much longer subject, but what I will tell you is that most in-ear monitors are relatively easy to drive. So even a portable pocket-sized dongle DAC is more than sufficient to drive the best of in-ear monitors which are out there in the market. But with most full-sized open back headphones, you want to get yourself a powerful DAC and amp which can be bulky and can sometimes even be expensive. So keeping all those considerations in mind, I think you'll have a very clear understanding of whether an IEM is better suited for you or a full-sized headphone. I love them both. When I'm here in our experience studio and I'm sitting quietly by myself, I will always pick up a full-sized headphone. But when I'm on the move traveling or just going for my morning walk, I will always go with an in-ear monitor and they sound fantastic. 